Hi YouTube, this is a quick video tutorial for how to get rid of this annoying green bar you see. Um, you may have noticed Windows Movie Maker putting this bar on your videos. So there's a number of solutions floating around out there and I found they were all completely useless for me. So um, this is a video to show exactly how to fix uh, this if the other solutions haven't worked for you. Or maybe just something to try first before you even bother with the others. Your call. So most of the solutions I found consisted of going into Windows Movie Maker and then going to the Tools menu, Options, and then within Options go to the Compatibility tab. Um, their solutions were basically just unchecking FFD Show or XVID in this list you see. Uh, however, for me, I have neither of those, so it didn't really help. And I suspect other people may have the same problem. So, how do we fix it whenever our problems are not FFD at show or XVID messing up our videos? Well, essentially what I figured out was a workaround, not really a fix. Um, it was AVI files that were giving me trouble and giving me this annoying green bar. So, what I did is I got a, a video converter program and just changed my AVI files into WMV files. So you can download Prism Video File Converter for free at CNET. I'll put the link down below. Okay, so once you have Prism, it should look a bit like this. Click the green Add File icon in the top left and add whatever raw footage you wanted to put into your video project. Uh, I would double check the output format and make sure it says WMV at the bottom, which should be the default. And then click the Convert on the bottom right. Once it converts, you'll have your WMV file ready to use. Once you're using WMV files instead of AVI, it should end up looking like this, no green bar involved. Uh, of course, the downside with this method is that if you've already made something and you're looking to, to fix it, this will mean you'll have to re-edit all of your video clip stuff, uh, and that can be a pain in the butt. But if those other solutions didn't work for you, then this may be the way to go. And if you're doing this before you start editing, then it's really not a problem at all. All right. Much appreciated. I hope this helps for you. Have a good one.